Mount Carmel becomes us. It's a great pleasure coming your way this week with uh, my guest here, Solomon Yahweh. I'm Yusuf Yakubu Fisa, all the way from Mount Carmel Christian Concert Center. We welcome you to this beautiful episode of Unheard Voices. The purpose of this uh, platform is to bring to your knowledge and to your own uh, perhaps excitement, some talented Christian youths who are making waves, though it might not be hard, but I believe that God is so happy with this generation of youths whose knees have not bowed down before Baal. Uh, the purpose of this program is to inspire and then promote creativity. Solomon Yahweh is one of our guests, a talented artist who has been working for the Lord, not minding his youthfulness. He's been so, so good, contributing so much. Thank you so much, Bobby. To uh, the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so we're going to be talking some little issues here today that will interest youths, interest parents, and then interest uh, those who are still in the world and are trying to find their uh, bearings in the things of God. Solomon, you're welcome. Thank you so much, sir. For having me. Um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay. I'm Solo Yawi, and then I love music and mostly love of Jesus Christ. Yes, so actually more I would have said here, but... I'm not actually here to introduce myself. <laughs> no, but, but we want to know a little bit about you. Okay, yes. okay, sir. Where are you from? Okay, I'm from Kogi State. Actually, my, my full name is Solomon Ujimojo Opanachi. But I use Solo Yahweh as Your my, brand name. my brand name. Yes, Good. More like a stage name. All right. So, yes. All right. So, and I'm from Kogi State. Good. I'm Igala by tribe. All right. Good. Yes. I'm are also, you a graduate of yes, our... from Nassau State University. All right. I read Languages and Linguistics. Good. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's beautiful to meet young, talented uh, Christians, youths who are still very, very vibrant for our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, can we talk a little bit about uh, your commitment to the things of God? Now, I understand uh, you're serving right now. Am yes. I right? But I've been following uh, your progress and achievements. Now, what 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 actually is your strength? What has been keeping you in the service of the Lord? I understand a lot of youths are either derailed or are distracted. What is that that has kept you moving? Yes. Not minding the youthful pressures all over the places. Thank you, sir. Okay, first of all, I'll start by saying that um, the reason why I'm still standing is by the love and the mercy of the Lord. Yes, I must will, I must run, but still it's God that showed mercy. Okay. Yes, it's good for me to plan, for me to study, for me to strategize, but above all, I strongly believe that there's a system called mercy, and that's what is speaking for me. Okay. Yes, but... Aside that, I know man actually have a will, and then I think we need to talk about that will. Yes. Okay. So, um, the first thing that I've actually kept, kept me in place is finding purpose. A lot of, a lot of youths and a lot of people do not understand what it means to find purpose in life. They feel finding purpose is for you to be rich, mm. for you to be wealthy, for you to be known. Is not is not is not that right. yes. So the 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 moment God opens your eye to what He has called you to do, 
what your your particular assignment on earth, then your life begins to make meaning. Great. Yes, and then you cannot you cannot know your purpose without the author, without the source, and which mm -hmm. is God. Some people think they can actually pursue life without involving God. Mm -hmm. Yes. So first of all, is you discovering your purpose, and how do you discover your purpose? Is when you discover God and you are close to God, and is the one that will now show you your purpose and where you are supposed to be and how you are supposed to carry on the assignments. Okay. So part of the things that have kept me going is my ability to discover where God wants me to be that time. Mm. And then I also need to maintain that relation relationship between me and God so that my sights will be intact. So no matter what is happening around me, of course, the pressure can be very, very much. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Very much. You know, the way the university with friends. Yes, yes, yes. So it can be very, very, very much. But then once you still have this knowledge inside of you that I have an assignment on planet Earth, I have a reason why I'm here. Okay. It will bring you back to the drawing board and say, ah, I need to go back to God. And then that's, that has really been a huge push to me. Now, now I, I also understand that your mom is a pastor yes, sir. and your dad very, very active also in the things of God. Yes, sir. Can we say that this must have influenced your commitment? Yes. To See, I'm saying this because there are many uh, seeds of pastors, children yes, from the church who are now in the world, yes. serving the devil. Yes. We pray for them to return. There's no doubt about it. Uh, but then, can we say that a good family also plays a great role yeah. in making you be very committed. Yes. So in, in that aspect, it's very, very true that once you have a good family, a God-fearing family, it's not a total push, but it's a good background, a mm. stepping stone to where you are going to. Yes. The Bible says that when the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous, righteous do? Yes. So yet, but there's a more we call power of choice. Mm. So in as much as you are in this family that fears God, is not a high guarantee that you must be like that too. Mm. So it's a big push and an advantage for you that you are in a background that brings you to God, teach you these things. Yeah. But then you still have to engage yourself in powerful choices, mm. decision making. That That's great. I must remain here, not because we have pastors themselves that backslide. Okay. Yes, yes, we have. Not, 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 not even talking about their about children. About the children. Uh, so uh, it still depends on your own choice. Mm. Your own choice. And then it, it goes by you um, choosing the kind of people you work with. Correct. Yes, the kind of books you read. So it's very easy for you to do the right thing when you have the right people around you. Around always, you. no matter where you are. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Now, uh, while you were still a student, I remember uh, you invited us for a program yes, sir. in Kefi. It was quite wonderful, beautiful. Yeah. So many Christian artists were there. Uh, you called that program? Rock Ahava. Rock Ahava. The meaning is the spirit of love. The spirit of love. Yes. And this year again, you did a similar thing. Yes. I was sure. opportunity also to be there. Yeah. It's wonderful. Hallelujah. <laughs> I, I, I get so excited when I see young people getting hot for our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a program I can tell anybody at any time. You find time to be with us. We'll definitely inform you when the next program yeah. is going to come up. Solomon, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. Darling. See, the test of the pudding is in the eating. Can you just put your hands on the strings? He plays keyboard. Or what else do you play? A guitar. Guitar. And then you, I saw you on the drum. The yes, other day, playing <laughs> drums. What else again do you do? <laughs> That's awful. No, we don't have time for all these instruments <laughs> to be displayed today, but, you know, I love guitar so much. And so yes, he's sir. going to just give us, uh, well, according to the leadership of the Holy Spirit, whatsoever okay. you can put your fingers, okay, just to greet our audience this moment. Just follow us a little bit. <laughs> All right, this song talks about the love of God. Yes. I was lost, Jesus found me. 
Like a shepherd who found his lost sheep He threw his love and arms around me He drew me back into his way And say, child, stay here Oh, I found a friend He drew me with his cords of love he bled and died just to save me Not only the gift of life, but he gave me himself I found a friend La 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 I found a friend La 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 I found a friend La 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 I found a friend he drew me with his cause of love He bled and died just to save me Not only the gift of life But he gave me himself I found a friend La 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 Yes, I will sing, I will sing of the wondrous story of Christ who died for me. Yes, I will sing, I will sing of the wondrous story of Christ who died for me. Yes, I found a friend. La 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 la. I found a friend. La 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 la. I found a friend. So I found a friend in you too. Yes, thank you so much, sir. Find a friend in our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for being part of this episode. Till we come your way again, another time. It's been Yusuf Yakub Fisa. And with me, Solomon Yahweh. Yahweh. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you so much. Keep the fire Amen. burning. Yes, sir. The Lord will bless you. Amen, sir. We'll keep blessing you. Amen. I pray your generation will also key into this train Amen. that is moved already. Amen. Thank you so much. God bless you. Shalom. Thank you.